Now in Texas, one in five women have been sexually assaulted at some point in their lifetime. But today, during the start of Women's History Month, we wanted to highlight the resources available to women in the Brazos Valley. And our KX's Andrea Uribe has more. So SARC has actually been in existence since 1983, so this year we celebrate our 40th anniversary. And we were actually founded because a survivor of sexual assault, a local woman, um, had gone to the police department to report her assault and there were no services for her. And so she began advocating with our local law enforcement and um, judges to get a facility like SARC started. SARC has grown tremendously throughout the years, and in 2022, they assisted more than 500 survivors of sexual assault through many different ways. We also have our education prevention department that focuses on preventing sexual violence. So we really want to work to end sexual violence in our communities, as well as our advocacy and crisis intervention. Those are, um, crisis intervention is more of our hotline or immediate trauma needs, and then our advocacy is our ongoing need. And for women who have found themselves in an unplanned pregnancy, there are free local options to turn to. When Hope Pregnancy Center was established, there was a group of concerned people in the community who saw the need for supporting women who were unintentionally pregnant and how that can just be a time when women are really nervous and need a lot of help. And so this group of people decided to form Hope and be a place where we would offer free medical services, um, pregnancy testing, it eventually also became ultrasounds and also just shower women with material assistance like baby clothes and parenting education so that they could be prepared. Andrea Uribe, KAGS News. And for more information on these organizations and what they offer, you can go to their websites below.